Hi everyone, it's uh, Kathy Ryan here in uh, Bundaberg, Queensland. And before you, you see a 12 by 16 inch or mm, I think it's 20 by 40 centimetres, it might be 30 by 40, but anyway, there you go, that's that. And I have um, put over uh, some Simco Black and it's just dried off, it only took an hour outside, it's touch dry, which is what I want. I have here um, what used to be a toilet roll and uh, I have, as you can see, with the trusty scissors, cut around there and made it like hairy. And since I only had one, I went around this edge and I made the cuts. Um, a little bit smaller and I'm going to be making some thistle type flowers. I also have, come here, uh, four cotton sticks put together with elastic band, two and singular. I have also some white Simco some yellow pro paint and some purple pro paint. Um, more than enough paint there than what I'll be needing. Now the pro paint is this and I get this in Australia in the reject shop. It's like $2.50 for 125 mils but I find the colours to be quite vivid and they hold their colour when they're painted, when they, when they dry, they come up the sort of the same colour, unless of course you've mixed them with something else. So I have actually um, taken to purchasing those because I like them. Now, I'm going to, I saw this somewhere many long years ago and I think it might have been on Pinterest, but it doesn't really matter where I saw it, but thank you to the person that um, put it up. I am going to be making some flowers. That might be too big. I might have to use my smaller size or get my scissors over there and chop a bit off. Let me see. Yeah, I think that's um, what I'm going to have to do. Just prune a little bit off. Oh, come on, it doesn't want to cut. Okay, that's done that. Let's see how this looks. Probably not too straight, then. Oh, that one might be a bit better. Yes. All right. The other, other thing I have here is a second... Uh, a second canvas, which, as you can see, is the same size. But I've already done a pour and it's got a couple little marks on it. And I quite like um, the pattern on that. So I thought I might dress it up a little bit and put some flowers on it. But here we go. I'm going to firstly show you all I do here is dip, dip, dip. I think that's got enough on and then dip around Maybe a bit more hold it in a little bit and we get more in the center here it looks a bit like it needs a third one doesn't it um, right. I haven't opened this one up as much 
Nice. Level out some of these drips a bit. I have uh, a basting brush. I took to it with the scissors. And yes, it's going to do a better job because I want these light and uh, fluffy, they're like little thistles. My gloves outside calling. I think they have a nest over the back somewhere. But with the, the two that have been put together, put in some yellow just to make them look a bit interesting. It doesn't have to be uniform, just dip and dab. Gives it a little spiky look to it. Put the single one back into the white and then just do his little Then, with the four into the white, a bit of a dab, and This is kind of good fun. I would have made those a bit dark.
tap, tap, tap to drive you nuts. Okay, so this is coming around pretty good. Now, as thistles can be any kind of colour, pinks, purples, mauve, where I've seen, you know, I don't know, yellow. Um, I'm going to just dab a little bit of uh, purple here and there on, on mine because I can in there. Give them just a touch of colour. I'm going to put a bit more of the yellow in there too. It's not looking all that crash hot. If you click on show more at the bottom of this video it will roll down and you will be able to see the paints and the pouring medium that I've used here and the recipes for those. Um, you'll also find a link there to my Facebook group which is Australia Art Dreaming and we'd love for you to come over and join us. Fine bunch of people from all over the world actually now. It's getting very exciting. You have all of those people joining. And you don't have to paint. It's uh, open to any art medium. So I mean, if you paint and you also do a bit of crocheting or knitting or beading, you're more than welcome to um, come over and, and add those things on as well and we'd love to see them and it's all good okay so there's the three little fellows but as I said I think I'll put some more yellow in there they're not it's not all that bright Yellow and I don't get along very well. It always tries to hide on me. Please leave comment comments if you have any um, questions or anything. Um, um, will be quickly answered for you. <clears throat> Click on my uh, link to Fine Arts America and come over there and have a little browse, see what you think. That needs uh, something there, doesn't it? Yellow. Just to break it up. that's good and that that's it that's um i'll turn it around so you can see it and i hope you have uh, enjoyed watching this video i'll just bring you down to have a little squizzy look and Please give this video the thumbs up. I greatly appreciate that. It helps to get my uh, 
video is placed in YouTube click on subscribe and the little bell and you'll be notified when I do some uh, more videos put them up and around that way yeah, that's very pretty thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video